don't know, I feel like I'm drawn to this dining area for some reason. Hello? Oh, what was that? What is up, fam? Welcome to another haunted adventure with your boy Omar. Today we are at the old Lakeside Hospital in and correct me if I'm wrong, it's called Defuniac Springs in Florida. I don't know if I said that right, so please don't blast me if you're from this area. It's Defuniac or Defuniac. I don't know how to say that, but that's where we're at. I've never been here before. It's a really neat little historic town. Lots of history here. There's a beautiful lake up ahead, but that's not why we're here. I mean, it is a really cool town. I do show it in my vlog a little bit more, but this is the hospital right here, known as Lakeside Hospital. Whoa, what the heck? Okay, that was a gunshot. I don't know the neighborhood very well. It is my first time here, but we're gonna go in here, explore the whole place. It was really hard to find any history on the old Lakeside Hospital. It seems like a lot of the history has been kind of swept under the rug. There's a lot of secrets here, and we're really only the fourth ever group of people to come and explore this place and, and do some ghost hunting. Still an open book when it comes to hauntings. Now I will share with you some of the hauntings that I have heard of. There are some children that have been seen here. It's purely just stories. A little bit earlier we were here and my friend Carlos, his wife heard some children laughing. I'll have her go on record to, to say that here in a second. Me and her are sitting here, and we hear like noise down the hallway. That's nothing, right? Well, when me and her were in the room <laughs> making coffee, I had the donuts. Mm -hmm. So I, I don't know, maybe like donuts, because and the coffee was just made. Yeah. So we're standing there, like pouring our stuff. All of a sudden, massive smell. And she said it smelled like sulfur. I don't know what it was, but it was, it was a really funky smell. Mm -hmm. And then all of a sudden, it just like gone as soon as they said oh yeah that that sulfur smell and like, it was yeah. just like gone and then all of a sudden it just goes away the back of my legs you know that like tingly cold feeling that you can like yeah. feel sometimes mm -hmm. it was just on the back part of like the top of my thighs and then it just like went away and then she was like whoa i feel it on my legs <laughs> so then she's like what if it was like a little kid like hugging you because you know we're like moms and the little kids, you know how little yeah, kids, when they're little, the when the kids are li little, you know how they come up to you and they just wrap their arms yes. around your legs to give you a hug? That's how I felt. Like I had something wrapped around my leg and it was just right here on my knee in the back of my thigh. It was wild. No. So we the video must have been downstairs. Before. Wait, Al, you downstairs. were recording, were you? I was no, outside he was, at the time. Outside. Yeah. So no one caught that bang? Nobody, Nobody caught Carlos? it. It was just me and Tiffany. Wait, did Carlos? No, no he was outside. outside. Yeah. We were all outside. All right, let me show you this clip, bro. Because this is like legit. Wow. Like, I go to do a B-roll. You see the light? The bell just started going off. Did you see oh, my yeah, light flicker? Oh, yeah, your light was flickering. Dude, it keeps doing it. Every it, The bell. The and bell your light's was, never done that before? No, bro, never done that. And then it, it stopped doing it. It did it for like 30 seconds while the bells were going off. As soon as the bell stopped, the light just it didn't blink it. second floor of the Lakeside Hospital. Now this second floor was an add-on, meaning originally the Lakeside Hospital was a single story hospital. I think it was a clinic or something before it became a, an all-out hospital. There's been a lot of different stories. You know, like I heard that somebody used to live up here at one point, like the owners lived up here. There's still even like a dining room. I hear that it was a dental office. Like it's really been a bunch of different things. The Lakeside Hospital, I mean, they, they did everything here. They had surgeries. They used to deliver babies. There's people here in the area that used to work here too. Patients and employees still live here in the area. Now the last time this was a hospital was in the 1970s. So it's been a very, very long time since this has seen any patients. There is a story from what I hear. It's a legend, it hasn't proven to be true, but there was some bodies found in the boiler room and that was a little bit later after like in the 1970s that they found those bodies. Has it been proven? It's not in the history books. Like I was mentioning earlier, it's hard to find any history 
on this place. The closest that I came to was, you know, just about the building in general. But as far as like the haunted history, the owners did confirm with us that most of the spirit activity that they've encountered here have been positive, but they're not going to rule out that there's not something evil here. We're the fourth ever group to come here and explore the Lakeside Hospital. Pretty big deal. James was up here a little bit ago. Like I showed you on the footage, like his light started going crazy and there was a like a bell, a midnight bell going off. I don't know, it, it was kind of like a weird coincidence that when that started going off, his light started flickering. I did experience my light flickering on my flashlight, but it hasn't done it anymore. So yeah, it's a very bright flashlight. What did they say that a lot of the activity happens? Yeah, that way towards the surgery room. Are there any spirits here? We hear there's children. We do got some donuts downstairs. There's like numbers. So these were like what, room numbers maybe? Yeah. Now in a little bit, we're gonna be doing a blindfolded spirit box session. Probably gonna do part two to this video that is just for that. I might include some of the footage on this video just to give you kind of like an idea towards the end of this video what we're doing. And we're gonna be doing that in the area where allegedly they found those dead bodies. And I'm not sure how many. This is a confirmed case. The doctor that used to work here Here's the balcony. I don't see anybody out there. Oh, there what, the, what the hell was that? I heard something down here. Whoa. It's like a revolver. So earlier, when James was showing me the whole thing with his light, Tiffany and Greta were talking about it to Chelsea. They heard a loud bang and it came from up here while James was up here and he never heard it. In fact, he never even recorded like a loud bang. They thought that he fell and hurt himself badly and but like, he never heard it. It literally sounded like he fell through the floor. All of you guys were outside and me and her were downstairs making coffee. It legit, I, we thought for sure that he fell through the floor. Like, and then, so we like started walking really fast towards the stairs and then we hear him walking. So we we're like, no, I guess he's fine. And then James apparently never even heard it. Huh. Has ever played one? Looks like it. Oh, it's the surgery room. Oh, the lights were off. Let me see. See that? Yeah, the surgery room lights oh, on. Oh, okay. Let's just go all lights out. There are children up here. Come grab our hand. Come grab Tiff's hand. Wow. What? What? You're just gonna volunteer my hand like that? Yeah. Oh, 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 wait, was that you? Don't even do it. Don't even Did do it. Did you just touch my elbow? Don't even do it. Did you really? I swear. I don't want nothing touching me. Yo, like, like for real. While I was in there, it was like, like this right here, like a, like a tug. That wasn't you. You didn't touch something. No, no, I didn't touch anything. There was. What's that? What's that? They're all downstairs. Who just tugged at me right now? Yeah, this was the nursery. So this is where I felt my elbow get touched or tugged on. I'm trying to see if there was like a, I don't know, maybe a nail or something that might have.
So that was the very first elevator in Florida ever. The 1940s, I think 1949. Today doing a live stream and uh, yeah this is a surgery room where they probably delivered babies did tons of surgeries I mean this is a small town they probably just did everything here here's a picture of the operating room and when was when was this picture taken it doesn't even say maybe no, it doesn't say this is kind of cool too this is where the surgeons would wash their hands and I guess that activates the the water yeah you put your leg does it work here and push it and then the water pops up so that way nothing gets touched all right it'd be so cool if it still worked <gasps> where'd that come from i don't know down that way What was that? Don't. It sounds like there's somebody walking up here. Shh. Is there somebody up here? Like they heard footsteps. Chelsea was sitting up here earlier and Lenny recorded it walking around her. And then Carlo said he was up here and he heard footsteps and walking. If there's any spirits here, why don't you make those lights flicker? We heard you walking around. We know you have power. Use that electricity on that light bulb right now. I feel like there's a child, maybe in this room. Oh, cool! Look at this. Oh, it works. Whoa, cool! I think this is like a laundry chuter, maybe some kind of elevator to the kitchen. What do you think this is? Maybe like a laundry chute? Yeah. Cool. Oh, I know it's just shut. It's so abruptly. All right. Are you going to do that blindfold spirit box session? Maybe. Maybe? It's going to be like a short session. Maybe like five minutes each person or something. I don't know. I feel like I'm drawn to this dining area for some I reason. I like this room too. Maybe it's because we're in the nursery, but I don't know. Oh, wow. Where was this window nursery? This is a nursery. Okay, look. This is where you heard the baby. Well, I heard we were standing in here, but I heard what sounded like a baby down there. Oh, wow. This is where you said if there was something in here, touch me. Yeah, but you know, I, I don't... I think you maybe you snagged something. Yeah, I, I think I might have snagged something. Or... Maybe it got caught in this. It felt like a pool, like on my elbow. But I don't know, that's kind of low. I don't know, I don't think so. I mean, you know how sometimes wood has like the little splinters? Like it, it might have like caught my sweater. Or something. Silence. Twice we heard somebody walking through the hallway. And of course I have my camera off.
You can walk through the hallway if you like. I want to hear your story. Share it with the world. You sure that walking or not hearing is like them downstairs? I don't know. It sounds like it's up here. It legit sounded like there was somebody that was going to... I thought it was maybe one of the guys from downstairs that came up here. I thought they were going to pop right around the corner and then there's nobody here. Some of them were outside. And then I think Carlos and Greta were in that back room downstairs uh -huh. doing a thing together. Okay, some of you guys may not know this, but sometimes when you explore places that are haunted with real haunted history and you want to get some evidence, you have to spend a lot of time there. There's going to be some times where you're just sitting around. You might catch something, but guess what? Maybe the camera wasn't recording. There's a lot of footage that we end up burning and scrapping when we go on these explorations. It's a lot of sitting around like we're doing right now. We're sitting around to see if we can hear those footsteps again. That's not happening, of course. I want to see those lights flicker. They, they said that you can ask the spirits and they will make them flicker. Hello? Are you there? You don't have to be shy with us. Make another noise. That came from in here. Does the light bother you? I'll turn it off. Can you make another noise? God, it scared the crap out of me. Are they doing that? I don't know. No, they they're just doing a spirit box. Mm -hmm. So we are downstairs right now. James and Chelsea are in the other room doing a spirit box session. One thing that I forgot to mention that I did mention in my vlog video is that this hospital that we're in right now was actually in a movie, one of my favorite movies, horror movies that is, House on Haunted Hill. Yeah, that's right. Some of the scenes in that movie was filmed in the Lakeside Hospital. Pretty cool. shining on that wall and there was like a, a black mist that just kind of like in front of it really it was on that wall i heard something about that like a, a mass oh my god that's weird <laughs> whoa cool a window in the chautauqua hall of brotherhood now chautauqua only time i've ever heard that name is in a little little county I used to live in in upstate New York. Western New York, that is, right outside of Buffalo, Chautauqua County. I don't know if it's connected. Yeah, Florida's historic Chautauqua. That door. Whoa. Maybe somebody was kicking it. That was just weird looking, right? Oh, this is the laboratory. So this is where they did all like the blood work and Okay. we seen from upstairs. Oh my god, yeah it is. Yeah. Cool. Let's just go up. Oops. Okay, don't want to mess with that. Whoa. Is that where they put the blood in and it goes like this? No. What is that? This is a microwave. No, it's not. Look, you can turn it on right here. Ding! Okay, I don't know what that is. Is it open? I'm sure it's an espresso machine. Oh, wow, look. What is that? Yeah, it's, a, it's like a little cremation thingy. <laughs> <laughs> it's for like rats. Pretty sure it makes a triple long espresso. Oh my gosh, look at this. What the heck? What does that smell? The elevator shaft. 
Where's the room where right they... Right there. Is that it? Wait, that's where the doctor died. Okay, the doctor died right here. What is that noise? Oh. Now it's James and Chelsea. Okay. Therapy. <laughs> this is therapy. <laughs> is this the ambulance room? Yeah. Too? Okay. Uh, this, this is, is where, where they said. Goes down into right over here. This is where they said that they heard um, yeah. a little girl. Well, oh, it does have a real basement. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's not big, but it's pretty creepy, bro. That's where I think we should do that uh, sound deprivation. You see the shoes? So I get a weird feeling down there. Ooh. You got a weird feeling down there? Oh, bro. That's where allegedly. They found those bodies when the hospital closed. Right. We started contacting a spirit named Billy over there. Yeah, Billy came through. Yeah. Billy? And there was a lot of tapping, and I felt like there was like a, a man. I don't know. It was really, just really bizarre. Huh. Yeah, Is we it? tried to be quiet in there to see if we could like hear anything. Yo, shh, shh. I just heard something. Oh, nice. Uh, it's a patient table. So this is where, you know, the ambulance would come in. Looks like a garage now. And of course they would bring the patients in, maybe like a like an emergency situation. And that's why there's an incline right there. Cause they would pull them in on a stretcher or push the stretcher up there. Huh? Balloons? Are those balloons? <laughs> Spirits will play with them. But you think I've seen like that happen. Or oh yeah, they'll usually put like a a glow a glow light inside of it. Somebody just knocked at that door. That's definitely there. Anybody out there? Was there over that way though? I'll go in the basement. It's so weird to see a basement in Florida. Coming down here. Too spooky for you? What I want to know is if there were bodies ever found in here, like where the heck would they have been found? This is such a little space. Hey, look at this old Dr. Pepper. Oh, wow. Yeah. I could hear James all the way. I know. <laughs> Whoa. Hold that. I don't know. That might have stepped on something. I wonder what happened up there. Let's go find out. Sounds like they're having a party up here. What the hell's going on? Sounds like y'all having a party. Ooh. See the old wheelchair? What? These are like little medicine vials and stuff? Yeah. Cool. It's one of those things that they bang your knee with. Look, that's a that's a wheelchair. Wheelchairs have come a long way. Indeed. Bro, what is that Dude. smell? <laughs> that is. Bro, horrible. James shit himself. Oh my god, I don't even like. I don't know what to do. That's so like. Mm. And then you smell my the, the body spray that I spray and it's mixed all together. Bro, what the? I heard that knock too. They're over there though. They're all the way over there. All three of them are together. They're just messing around. They did that. That's what I was thinking, but like I don't know. That's They're not laughing. Nice. They seem pretty serious. Did you hear that? What? They said it wasn't them. They said they seen a light turn on upstairs, and that's why Greta started walking Nobody's this way, upstairs. and everybody well, started walking. No, there's nobody upstairs, bro. Nobody's upstairs. Nobody's upstairs. 
That's when we heard that knock. Here's the thing. I feel like I would have seen them run away because immediately after the knock happened, I looked out there. Oh, shoot. It almost... <gasps> what was that? Oh, that's when I come in. Were you the one that closed the door? Turn my camera off and this door closed behind me. I thought James was messing around because he kind of giggled a little bit, but he was giggle. he was back there. You didn't get it? Oh, well, I mean, I just went, I saw the door closed and I'm like, no, I mean, I guess I kind of did. Like, he just, just smiled. Yeah, I was like, oh, hey, I've hey, seen him really smile. Yeah, I thought he did. The tour guide said this restroom door right here constantly <clears throat> opens and closes by itself. But this door. But like, this oh, one right next to the restroom. Yeah. Right. It legit closed. <clears throat> Legit, yeah. And you were, you. I did Bro, you notice you were over here. You want to see something? Yeah, yeah. Watch this. All right, so he's over here, right? He was so I'm standing there. there. How long am I standing there for? Standing then. Over here. See? Yeah, I, swear to God. I just showed him my clip. Over here, bro. I just showed him my oh, clip. Oh, you're you're watching the footage back. He's standing there. You got the clip? Oh yeah, I got the clip. Wait, let me see. I mean, he's out of frame for a sec. Let's see. Yeah, I look. I look behind me, and his door is starting to close all by itself. And I thought James was messing around, but he was over here. Where am I at? Watch, you'll see you standing right there. Yeah, you're right there, bro. Right. Yeah, you're literally right there. Damn. Yeah. Weird. It said Al's name like three times. Dude, that's a good thing. <sighs> it, it said all kind of stuff. Who shut the door? I Ian. I thought I heard I did. I heard it said too. Yeah. I thought you were messing with us. Nah, bro. Like I, I, I mean, yeah. I did smile. I think, but it's kind of like oh, you guys are him. Like, <laughs> did you see that? Like, right, right. Wait, oh, yeah. one thing that I haven't done yet. Let's use the SLS. The Oculus keeps saying to go up. Now the way this works is it maps out like human type figures. See? Am I a stick? Yeah. For the first time. Makes like stick figures. So if you see something like that pop up. What's new? Wait. I smell that smell again. What smell? Fart. Oh, the false lady. I don't know. I can't even tell the difference anymore. Someone's gotta probably check the basement. I'll go back. Uh, oh. Oh, I, I caught something on the window. Maybe it was a reflection of me. Can you appear again on the window for me? Okay, it wasn't my reflection. We found him? Across the street? Yeah, that's right. He's out. He's across the street. Yeah. Ooh. Something appeared at this table. Oh my god. Something's appearing at this table. Look, 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 look. Look at my SLS. Look. I mean, everything's been cold until I got in here. And this is where I. F oh, 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 oh. Yeah. It's a small figure too. Holy moly. We heard it in here. We heard a baby. Oh. Look, there was another one. See it? Go ahead, show yourself. Something tugged at my, my elbow earlier too. I thought that maybe look, it got look, stuck. Look. Wow. It's like a little baby. This is where this we is the nursery. Out here. You guys catching something? Mm -hmm. yeah. It keeps popping up. Look, two. Oh, look. That one and that one. Oh, oh, it's like stronger now. It keeps coming and going. Wow. Oh, there it goes. Ooh. Yeah, right next to the table. It was like a baby figure. This is where we heard, and we're standing right there. And left everything to the top of the table, then we heard like a, what sounded like a baby. Did you see something else? Yeah, it came back. There's something at this table right now. We need to try to connect with it. Why don't we do the thing in here? Yeah, yeah thing in here. definitely. We got enough chairs for all of us. Bye.
Can you touch my hand? Can you touch my hand right now? So we found James. He was outside across the street. He's going to come back in here. We're going to do something that I've never... Well, I can't say that I've never done it. I was a part of it. We did an investigation on Halloween night on the Queen Mary. Actually, I think, I think it was like a couple nights before Halloween. But anyways, it was called the Estes Method. What this does is you completely cover all your senses and just connect with the spirit box. And people will ask questions and you have no idea what they're asking. And whatever you're hearing through the spirit box, you just try to relay whatever message you can. So you're completely blindfolded. You're just hearing the spirit box. So it's just you and the spirit box. That's it. Whatever you hear, you say. So there could be, you know, your, your friends could be asking questions and you have no idea what they're saying. You can't hear them. You can't see them. It's kind of strange because it will, it will put you in a trance if you're in it too long. Have you done it before? No, I haven't. I'm going up. You gonna try it? I want to do it first. I'm thinking about putting you gonna Greta, do it first? Put Greta and she's sensitive. Like people come out of it kind of dazed. Yeah, so okay. we're gonna be doing that right now. See what happens. I think it's gonna be cool. She's got a mask over her eyes. Hey, Greta. Yeah. I think you're really safe from Corona this way. <laughs> right? <laughs> Let's go ahead and put the headphones on. She can't hear us. So we're not hearing the spirit box. She's hearing it. We're gonna ask questions. She's gonna be blurting out random things that she's hearing, whatever she can make out. Yeah, go ahead. Okay, are you guys ready? Yep. Just relax. What's the name of the spirit that's in here? Our names. Al. No. I don't know what to ask. What is your name? What is your name? What is your name? Chelsea. What about Chelsea? Is it an wait, is the spirit's name Chelsea? No, it's James Chelsea and Lyle. Greta. Oh. Why are you saying our names? Here. Are you sitting at the table with us? Mm-hmm. Oh, no. oh, I can't believe it, bro. Where are you at? James. What about James? Are you, are you by James? Keep it quiet. Hey, just one at a time, guys. So we don't confuse him. Just tell us keep it quiet. What do you want to do? Everyone. No! No! What the hell? They're there. Who's there? Who's there? Door. Door. Gone. Gone. Wait, somebody check us out. 